there was a person that sent me an email and I am willing to help people. That is just the way that I am. But I am not willing to debate with anyone. I am not willing to argue with anyone. I am not willing to fuss and fight with anyone. This person was asking questions but not really asking questions. This person was using exclamation marks. If you don't want me to answer your email, use exclamation marks for no reason. <laughs> that is one sure way <laughs> that I won't answer your email. This person said that they are Christian, are a Christian, and they know Bible scriptures really well. So I was thinking, if that is true, why are you coming at me in this way? Obviously, something is not right. <laughs> Anyways. Let me get to my point. When I teach you all, I teach you so that you can go out on your own and seek God for yourself. Some people rely on others to seek God for them. So, in so many words, hey, their salvation is reliant upon that man or woman of God. When I teach you all, I teach you to seek God for yourself. When you go to church, yes, the pastor is there to show you the way, the way to God. But people use, in some cases, use that pastor to seek God for them, which is dangerous, like their encouragement to serve God is reliant upon that person. How dangerous is that? What if that person falls into sin? What if that person does something really bad? So that means many people are going to fall into sin as well. Many people are going to become discouraged to live for God. Since their salvation is reliant upon that pastor. Yes, I may be doing things right. Yes, I may teach in a certain way, whatever. You should not be reliant upon me for your salvation. Yes, you can listen to my teachings. Yes, but you need to be seeking God on your own. Yes, I can pray for you, but you need to pray for yourself as well. Yes, I can help you, but you need to come to God for yourself. God has a plan for us all. The plan that he has for me may be different than the plan that he has for you. How can you excel higher than I if you are seeking God through me? 
you are going to be a copy of me. Two calves. <laughs> Why do you want to be a second or third or fourth, fifth calf? Why? There is no reason for it. You need to seek God on your own. So if the person that you are following, which is wrong in the first place, if they fall into sin, it is not going to phase you if you are following God. This is why you don't follow people. You follow God. You don't follow people. I don't care how holy they seem. I don't care how good they seem. You don't follow people. You don't follow people. Don't you know, my Lord, please help me. Please help me. Don't you know that when there are people that are impacting people's lives heavily, don't you know demons see that? So if you are following people, all the, de all the demon would have to do is attack that head person and if that person falls, that means that you are going to fall as well if you are following that person. But if you go out there and seek God and teach others as well, if everyone is doing that, <laughs> what can Satan do? He can't harm all of us all at the same time. How would he be? Or how could he? There is no way. I teach you to seek God on your own so you can show other people the way to God as well. Not just rely on me for your salvation because that is not going to work. That is not going to work. Perhaps God can teach you something that I don't know so you can teach me. Listen, I am willing to be taught. I am not this prideful, silly person believing that I know everything because I don't. I don't know everything, by far. You need to seek God on your own. If you continue to follow people, Kevin, if you continue to follow people, you are going to stay weak, very weak. And you are going to continue to fall into sin. You are just going to be a copy of a person. Just another copy with the same flaws. The Holy Spirit is here to counsel us, to show us where we need to change. If you are following a person you are going to have the same flaws as that person. So that means that you are not listening to the Holy Spirit, which is dangerous. Don't follow me. You can listen to me, but go out there and seek God for your own. I pray that this makes sense. Don't follow people. Don't. Don't. Go out there and pray more, read your Bible more, and fast. You need to listen to God. Not so much me. Yes, I can show you what to do, but you have to go out there and do it. Let me stop here. God bless you.